All right, in this video, we're gonna talk about how to prevent peaking inside Premiere Pro. And peaking is when you see the red dots appear at the top of your audio meters when music is too loud or audio is too loud. So here's an example of that. You can see right away that it clipped, and if I click there, it'll undo it. And then if I go to a quieter part of the song, it's not clipping as much. Generally speaking, you do not want to have any peaking in any of the audio you have because that can introduce some unwanted distortion in the audio or you might hear some crackling noises and it'll sound not high quality. Now a way to prevent that is by simply lowering your audio, but then your video's audio won't sound as loud as other videos you may listen to and you may be wondering why. So professional editors send it off to audio specialists to mix it and master it, but for smaller productions or just creating YouTube videos, you can get professional sounding results by doing some audio work yourself. And the way to do that is by adding a hard limiter onto your audio tracks. Now you wanna do it on every single track, including your master track. So this is the audio track mixer. You can find it in here for your sequence. And if you go to the very top here, there's a little tiny arrow. If you click that, this is where you can add some plugins and whatnot. So Premiere Pro does have a hard limiter built in. However, I find it to be pretty harsh on your audio. And even though it will limit your audio so that it doesn't peak anymore, it still tends to distort your audio, I find. So I don't use this. I add my own, which is called Loudmax. It's a free plugin, so if you go to the loudmax.blogspot.com website, you can download the plugin for your operating system. For us, we're on Windows, so we download the VST plugin. Now, I use the Loudmax 64 version because that works with my operating system, and you put it in the local disk, program files, Adobe, and then you choose your Premiere Pro, plugins, the language version, and then VST plugins, and then you place it in there. So you just copy and paste it into that or drag and drop. And then you go into your Premiere Pro preferences and then go to audio. And then once you're in the audio tab, at the bottom it says audio plugin manager. So you click this, and then from here you wanna add the VST plugins folder that we just navigated to up here, and then scan for plugins, find the Loudmax one and enable it. Once that's done, you can hit okay. And then just to make sure everything's set up properly, restart your computer, open Premiere Pro back up, go into your audio track mixer. And then once again, you might have to press the little arrow here. On your track one, you can enable Loudmax. Yours might be in a folder depending on where you install it, but either way, find it, enable it, and then right click, edit. And at the bottom here, you wanna set it to anything less than zero dB. So in this case, we set it to minus 0.1 dB. Now this will prevent track one from peaking. If you want to increase the volume of track one while also not peaking, you can increase it significantly. However, the more you do it, the more distortion will be introduced. So I tend to just leave it at zero and then only limit the audio. So now that it's on track one, we can drag and drop it to the various other tracks, including our master. Now we have a hard limiter on every track and then I will click on the red dots down here on the master so that we've reset all our audio meters so that none are peaking. And then now if we play the audio, Now it is important to note though that you should still not have audio bouncing completely off the zero. I tend to always go to audio gain and turn it down by about two decibels. And you can still see that it's pretty close to zero. And then what I also do is on my master track, I limit it to about minus one or two. And that gives just a little bit of headroom for all of the audio you have in your project because you're going to have music and you might have audio from a voiceover, dialogue from an interview, ambient sounds from a video clip you recorded. And then beyond that, you can have several tracks filled up with sound effects. And then all of those audio tracks will eventually be squeezed into just a stereo track when you export the video for your master channel. It is quite a lot, so I'd always suggest lowering your audio to around minus six or minus three. And then if you have some slight jumps in audio, it is controlled by the Loudmax to prevent your peaks. 
Now, of course, if you're recording a voiceover like the one I'm doing right now, you also want to make sure that when you're recording, it doesn't peak. If you do record it peaked, it's likely you're not going to be able to fix that later, not even with adding loud max or reducing the audio or even trying to bring it into Adobe Audition because the audio has been distorted and pushed too far. All right, I hope you found that helpful. If you did, like the video, leave a comment down below and subscribe to see more videos from us in the future. We have over 60 other filmmaking tutorials that you can learn from, so definitely subscribe and check out those videos. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.